Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager 6 stream. My name is Adam. I am the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me as always, and not pictured on your screen, but I think that might be a shot of him actually skating on the cover of our game, is FHM producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. I wish I skated that well. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and we are back with a brand new Franchise Hockey Manager 6 stream. We are going to be doing something in the 2019-2020 NHL season. Jeff, you and I have been chatting about what team would be appropriate. We know some people wanted to see us take over the Jets, but we're not going to do that. We debated about taking over the Leafs and, you know, trading everybody away. Decided not to do that. So who'd we end up taking here? Well, we also considered the Senators, but uh, we were a little afraid uh, Eugene Melnick would fire us right off the bat, so decided not to do that. So ah, we went with a team that's in... Well, these teams in probably the second roughest shape in the league right now. Would that be a reasonable uh, assessment? I would think so. Yeah. Just yeah. In, maybe not in terms of overall talent, but uh, just in terms of uh, near-term outlook. Uh, so we got the Minnesota Wild and their collection of over 30 guys with big contracts. Yes. So, um, well, let's talk about the Wild. We can see we have a decent goalie in Devin Dubnik, but he's 33 years old. Alex Daylock's an okay backup. Uh, we have Ryan About Suter, 32. who's getting paid $7.5 million for three more years at age at 34. 35. We have, uh, let's see, Mika Koivu's 36. 34. I think he's got a late birthday, so he'll be 35 by the middle of the year, too. So. Let's just take a look here. He was born January 21st. Right now, I think what the uh, real life uh, wild have started four and eight. Uh, I get it. Their best defenseman so far has arguably been Brad Hunt, which gives you an idea of how dire things are right now. Yes. Zach Parise is 35. You know, minus 12 I, in his first 12 games of the real season. Yeah. Koi so we might, I mean, they actually hurt. rated a little generously here. Yeah, two to three weeks. We're going to just put Koivu right away. He's our captain, but we're going to put him on the injured list because he's not doing us any good. Basically, we are nothing short of a tire fire. So uh, looking at our depth chart, we can see we have some decent guys coming. Jack McBain jumps to the top of the list. Uh, Capo Kakinen is a one-star goalie, but he's 23, so that's not looking too good. Some other names pop out uh, from previous streams, like Damien Giroux. Um, and we've got Eric Stahl, who hung on for quite a while for us in our Quebec games. Yeah. So hopefully he can do the same thing here, because it's not have to trade some guys, but we're going to have to hang on to some of these older guys, <laughs> unless we want to play train wreck and get fired after the first year. Well, here's the thing. We are we have our first pick, our second round pick. We don't have a third. We got fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Basically, I think we're going to have to do what the Wild kind of refused to do and actually tear everything down. Um, so if we look at Welcome to Minnesota, Craig Leopold wants us to rebuild, which is a good thing. Um, yeah. We can talk and take a little look here in a second, but let's go to our team. The other home. nice thing about Leopold is that he's got uh, pretty high patience and financial patience is high too. So he's, we're going to have some money to work with. Yeah. Particularly after we clean out a few of the, uh, the one, the one probably we're going to have trouble offloading some of these salaries. I mean, 7.5 million and they've all got, yeah. Uh, you know, how many guys we've got about 5 million and they're mostly longer term ones, except for Koivu. But we're going to try and kind of move some guys, starting off with, all right, who should we just try and trade right now? I'm uh, thinking... It might be easier to say who shouldn't we trade. Uh, well, we're going to do a, just a trade to see what's out there for feelers. So let's try... Okay. Should we try Dubnik? Just try and move Dubnik, see what we get for an offer. Yeah. And we should mention here uh, that... We uh, were playing with a uh, test bill that uh, we're working on yeah. this week, and this actually has an update in it since the last uh, you know, date update in the game. And hopefully, we're going to be getting that to you in a few days. So, if you see anything weird happening, uh, maybe because of that, but it's been pretty solid so far. Okay, we just offered uh, Vic Victor Rask. 
and we could get a one and a half star guy from the AHL, Anton Whedon from Chicago, or a 25 year old Phil Du Giuseppe. I don't know how you say that. Giuseppe, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, Rask, it's, do, you, do you think he's going to bounce back? He's two stars. Probably not. But he's getting four million a year. I mean, that's one place. Send him to the Rangers? What were they offering? Just Phil, Phil D. Giuseppe. Basically, think of it as a salary dump. We get a one and a half star guy. He's a free agent at the end of the year. Probably better than Anton yeah. Wiedens. So we'll reject that trade. Yeah, I think we do this trade. Get rid of Victor Rask. He's got three years at $4 million. Got a splash. Welcome to... Hey, thanks for coming. Yes, Jeff? Oh, I've, and I forgot, the, I forgot the other nasty thing uh, about the uh, contract situation. They have a lot of guys with uh, no trade clauses and no movement clauses. Yeah, so we're going to move uh, Victor Rask. He's done. We picked up Phil Giuseppe. We'll even call him up to Minnesota right now. Um, so there's one guy gone. Uh, Parise, Suter, Zuccarello, Koivu, gonna, Zucker, Spurgeon, Dubnik. I'm shopping Matt have Dumba. No trader. What does Matt Dumba want? Uh, is that a good idea? That's our probably our the one guy that we'd want to build around. He's only 25. I think if we get a good offer, Nate Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> from Montreal. No. Par Lindholm. No, thank you. Brandon Sod. That's not the worst trade. Tyler Batuzzi. Uh, not a bad trade either. Jesper Fast from the Rangers. Yeah, I just, reject. I'm just not sure. I mean, what's. That's probably the one guy I don't really want to move. Um. Uh, I think we should probably try and concentrate on clearing out anybody that doesn't, that's getting more than say about. Okay. How about Nick? Three million a year and Nick doesn't have Bustad. a no trade clause and isn't really young. I'm going to go through all these offers first. Nick Bustad wouldn't be a bad move. Jake yeah, Furtanen. The son of a former Minnesota North Stars. No, I, I see enough of Jake Furtanen already. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, the guy who uh, I can't say his name, Oliver Clinton from the. Uh, Kylington. Flames, Kylington from the Flames, and a seventh rounder. Okay, how about how about this? Who's uh, Matt Dumba, Sammy Vatnin. You will. No, to Sammy Vatnin or. Yeah. No, I think we we got to hang hang on to Dumba, but. Twenty-six uh... year old Adam Larson from Ryan Dzingel, Colin Wilson. Lawson Kraus. You know who we could move? Uh, yeah, see, none of these are... Tyler Tyler Ennis. Was. Uh, just, even after just having mentioned how well he played for us in Quebec, uh, Stahl doesn't have a no-trade clause. You want to move Stahl, huh? All right, well, we can and put him I up. I just tried it in my test game, and I got some, some interesting offers. Okay, so you don't want to give up Bertuzzi or get Brandon Sod. All right. No. So we only have Did one I left to go today. To so around. Eric Stahl, shop player. And we got a bunch of offers. Montreal offers us Nate Thompson and a seventh rounder. So they offered us more... <laughs> for stall <laughs> than they did for Dumba. Uh, Slater Coke and a six rounder from Chicago. No. Jacob De La Rosa and a six rounder. Reject. Vladislav I can't I can never say his name from the Rangers who's actually with Ottawa now. Domestikov. Domestikov. That's not bad. 26. Uh I said no already. Contract to see on. Uh, oh, he's making four million a year, and he's got his uh, free uh, UFA at the end of this year. That's probably why they're trying to move uh, him. Let's reject that. Josh Teves, no, thank you, and a fifth rounder though. 
Tell me about Josh Jeeves. You're a Canucks guy. Uh, okay, okay. This is actually not a bad trade for us. Uh, just take a look at it. He's, oh, you're right. He's a guy who got one game two from college last year. Uh, yeah. How about a straight up for Wayne I Simmons? A ton about him. I mean, that's. I we're trying to get rid of overpaid old guys, aren't we? Yeah, but he's on a one year deal. <laughs> True, and that. Uh, yeah, that's. We get out from now. If we want to, sh like, go for a free agent at the end of this year, and you know, just kind of just yeah. muddle through this season. Quickly. Well, we could also put him up on up for an offer or two. Um, we're having some uh, trash. Check if he's got a. Oh no, he would. He wouldn't be in the offer if he didn't have a. If he had a no movement clause. What were you saying? Uh, there's some things in the chat for you there, Jeff. Nick Bonino, 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 Bonino. And a seventh rounder. Benino's got two years left. Although we could probably flip him for more. Uh, Adam Clendenning. Oh, we could get Ryan Reeves for Eric Stahl. Yeah, toughen up. What's Reeves' contract anyways? Oh, he's only on a one-year uh, deal for 2.755. Which seems kind of excessive for Ryan Reeves still, but uh, yeah, I mean that's uh, that was, we got always some always the two and a half stars. I'm gonna say it's gonna be Ryan Reeves or yeah. Wayne Simmons. Who's gonna have more trade value okay, so you, at the trade deadline? Yeah, G Gudu thinks Simmons at the trade deadline, as does Tuke by the looks of it. All right, uh, hold on to him until then. Then try to make a move. Yeah. Well, we can put him up a little bit earlier. Okay, let's complete that trade. All right, we picked up Wayne Simmons. Got rid of Eric Stahl. And we're going to advance to tomorrow because we really can't do too much else. You should, you're right to start a training camp, too, so you should... Uh, oh, I forgot about PTOs. Oh, no. And everybody else is beating you to the good guys now, so you're going to have to be pretty much sure. Uh, Unsigned guys. I forgot. Jeff, you didn't remind me. Training camp development report. Dumbo went up. I still think we should try and move Dumbo. Field D. Giuseppe got up two stars. Awesome. Ryan Donato's up. Joel Arison Eck is up. That's actually kind of helpful. Yeah. And another minor deal. Wayne Simmons wants number 17, but that's. Uh, he can have. Number 71 instead. He seems fine with that number. Of course he does. Yes, one of the things we forgot to do is... Okay, there's actually... Yeah. Patrick Marlowe is actually on a tryout right now with San Jose. Seems appropriate. Yeah. Um, there's not actually a lot on here. You can see the TOs for tryouts. Brian Boyle is actually in, back in Nashville. Um, do you really see anyone you want to bring in? No, I would maybe just limit it to have a look at your protected list and the guys that aren't in college invite them. Aren't in college and aren't signed by you. Uh, so unsigned draftees. No, just go to, well, you can do it from there. Or you can do it to roster protected list and look for anybody that doesn't have a contract with your team. Roster protected list. And I want to, how do, so how do I want to sort that? Uh, probably sort it by contract. It's right in the middle. C-O-N-T. All right. And then um, anybody that isn't, uh, basically anybody that isn't playing college, college hockey uh, and isn't contracted to you or be the guys you want to invite? I'm really looking, and there's nobody here who looks worth it. Who's not under contract? Uh, Kaprizov. Uh, Trying 
good in our stars. I'm, I'm playing for Red Army. I don't know. Oh, he doesn't die. If I just tried it in my game, he doesn't take the offer. Maybe give it a try. You might be able to get him to come, but probably not. Well, he did come in this game. Okay. Good. Interesting, because I don't think he'd be allowed to do that in real life, right? Yeah. You bribe the right people, who knows? We're going to quietly shop. Adam right Beckman, here. maybe, from the WHL. Sorry, who is he? Who is that? Star. Adam Beckman. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I just I just shopped Ryan Hartman. Okay, we can get a fifth round draft choice for Ryan Hartman. Definitely should do that, right? Uh, yeah, I don't really like that contract for a two star guy. Yep. Philadelphia wanted him back, apparently. So we got a, got a fifth round. All right. So sorry. Uh, who is the uh, protected list? Who is, the, who is the next one? Uh, oh, from the, the guy, tryout uh, guys, you mean? Yeah. Sorry. You wanted to offer who? Beckman? Uh, there's Beckman. Try Svetlakov uh, from Red Army, although he's only two star potential. How about you have Kov Kovanov? And Firstov, too. Oh, no, he's, he's playing college hockey. Yeah. All right, let's just run with that. We're not going to do too much else. Uh, before we go any further, though, let's take a look at our staff. Um, we're actually pretty good across the board on that, so I guess we don't need to make any big changes. We yeah, will have to look. Okay, there's something wrong right there. Some coding that's not right for a birthplace there, Jeff. Which one? Uh, uh, oh, the uh, Pavel Rode, uh, yeah. something. Um, a question uh, in the chat says, how long is... Koivu out. Koivu is out uh, for two to three more weeks. Yeah, he should be borderline for ready for the start of the regular season. Um, that's nice. Our best assistant coach apparently is Bob Woods, and we're only paying him for forty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Perfect. For right now, I'm just going to set our scouting to our assistant, set our training to our assistant. Uh, we'll do everything else for right now. And going back here, we can take a look at the roster. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time here, and I'm just going to have the... Uh, no, I want AI set... No, hold on. What, what do I need to do here? Is it AI dress players? Ah, there we go. And then we'll have the assistant set roles and create some lines. So our first line is actually Donato, Kunin, S Simmons, and then Greenway, Erickson, Eck, Zucker. Did Giuseppe's on the third line with Beckman, Zuccarello, Parise, Felino, and Fiala is our f fourth line. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Parise is going to be too happy uh being that far down. Well, we can see how it works for him. Maybe it'll get him to move and we can dump his contract. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I think we, if we, if he gets unhappy enough, he'll uh, request a trade. And at that point, that uh, gets rid of the no trade clause and we can. Now, he doesn't him. actually request a trade, does he? That doesn't but we just won't see him. It'll, uh, yeah, it, it, I can't remember if we still got that in or not. There was a way for that to happen before. I'm not sure if it's still there. Uh, but he'll be extremely unhappy and, uh, eventually. I think we have our captain set. Am I wrong on that? Suter, yeah. Parise. Yep, we're good with captains. Uh, Dubnik starting versus the Rangers. We're just going to sim through this because, well, there's not a huge amount we can do. We lose surprisingly one nothing. 
On that note, just because we can, let's put Suter on the trade block. Let's put Dubnik on the trade block. What are you going to do for a goalie if we lose Dubnik, though? I don't know. We'll run with Staylock and figure it out later. You worry too much. Uh, who else do we want to add? I'll put Simmons on the trade block, too, just in case we get a great offer. Uh, how about um, Zuccarello can go on the trade block? Uh, Zucker can go on the trade block. Kevin Fiala can go on the trade block. And Jeff, yes. So basically the whole team is going to be on the trade block? Yeah, why not? Place on trade block. Actually, here's something else we can look at here. Um, uh, if we look at contracts, I don't know if we have any of those, so we'll just take a look here. 30-year-old Michael. We're pretty much. The Ambus. Okay. good. I was just wondering if we Pretty could... much resigned to losing uh, Koivu at the end of the se this season, right? I don't see a point to bring him bring him along. Uh, should we buy out the rights to somebody? Yeah, probably. Oh, you can't buy him out now? Uh, wait. So... Who are you trying to get rid of? I was just wondering if we could get rid of Mike Liambus. But we can't uh, buy those no, rights. It's not the offseason anymore? No, we're at, we're at 18th. Um, I was thinking, uh, ah, don't worry about it. We could maybe throw them in a package deal to get rid of some people. I'm thinking right now we're probably going to be playing the waiver wire and try and pick up some players. So maybe we should try. Yeah, watch right around. I mean, it's all these all the guys that are on tryouts will also be coming off uh, out of those near towards the end of the uh, preseason. So what we should do is actually look to see if we can move uh, – a couple contracts. You had to make room. Yeah. So if we go to our depth chart. Okay. Gerald Mayhew is a center right wingo. And Nico Sturm. I'd rather keeled on to him. Colton Beck. Let's try and move Gerald Mayhew and Colton Beck. So let's go to trade offer. Who's looking for forwards? Anaheim is. Sure, let's just try Anaheim. Uh, who did we say? Mayhew was one. And... Oh, let's if try you want to move... Uh, want to move a contract uh, Stepan Falkovsky uh and he's playing the ECHL right now, and he's under contract, and I think you could get a few offers for draft picks from him if you shop him. Okay, well, we'll just try and get... Uh, we're asking the Ducks. Ducks don't have... Okay, uh, let's ask for a fourth rounder next year. Third rounder? Well-balanced offer, so let's go with a fourth rounder next year. And that would give us two new spots. We'll see what happens. Okay, and who who is this guy? Sorry, Falkowski. Falkowski, six foot seven defenseman. Defenseman. Okay, Falkowski. We get numerous order offers. From pretty much everybody. So let's start at the bottom. Montreal yeah, offers us. The draft pick in it. Uh, let's reject that trade. Reject. Should get at least a couple of uh, draft pick offers. Six, six rounders rounders. from Chicago. Okay, possibly. We could get Jack Johnson or Carl Gunnarsson. Yeah. Now we're just trying to clear rosters or clear contract space, aren't we? Yeah, but at some point we got to be careful here so we don't uh, don't go under the cap too. Six rounder from Washington. Under the floor, that's unlikely. 
Not if we end up clearing out all these guys. Yeah. Don't think we have to work out. Worry about it at this point. Okay, we have several six-round picks that we'll have to decide from right now. So who we got? Who's the worst team? We'll talk about it once I'm all the way through. Um... All right, so we have uh, from San Jose, Washington, and Chicago. Not Washington. Um, I'd go with Chicago. The problem is they're in our division, and we're likely to lose to them. So that'll inc help increase. But okay, we'll make another trade with Chicago then. Yeah, well, it's Denver, Denver, San Jose. Yeah. Okay, so we we've cleared yeah, uh, Washington. Another roster space. Game versus Florida here. Continuing. Simon out, and we lose five one. Shocker. Uh, Gudu says. Uh, chat question for Gudu: If you give, if you set the AI to organize lines, will it actively try to give ice time to players on PTO, regardless of how good they are? Um, good question. We do that. The AI teams will give the uh, PTO guys a you know, deliberate ice time. I think that's using the same code if you've got it set to assistant. So my answer is probably yes. It didn't put any in the game for us right now. I will say that. Have, have you actually got the assistant option though? That's what it is. Oh, not the assistant, but I had the assistant set everything up. Set it. No, that's that's different. That won't do it. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, put some of these guys in. So let's put Caprizov in for. Let's put Zucker out. And let's take care. Oh, it did actually put Beckman in. So okay, I take it back. Uh, Kovanov. All right. Game versus Vegas. Put stay lock in for this one. And we get destroyed. 6-2. This is going to be fun. It's going to be a long year, yeah. A long couple of years, maybe, because we're probably going to be rebuilding heavily in the year after that. Uh, well, it's what Minnesota actually needs to do. So, yeah. Although, if we'll still be in Minnesota, who knows? Dun, dun, dun. Well, let's just try not to get fired. Duh. Move them to Milwaukee. There we go. <laughs> be the Milwaukee Wild. Miko Koivu is ready to return to practice. Game versus Carolina, who's probably going to throttle us. Oh, wow. Beckman's only got 15%. Uh, we should probably get him out of the lineup then. Must have given him a ton of playing time. In the... Yeah. Like before. Um, Twenty nine percent for Caprizo, oh, like so let's get him out. Coming off an injury, you got yeah, because he's he starts at one percent for some reason. That's a little odd. Well, actually, there was something on uh, in the test form about that. I saw. Someone mentioned something about that, Jeff. Oh uh, yeah, it's the uh, something uh, junior. Leah. Yeah, I got to take a look at that. Something's not right there. I just remember actually seeing that. I kind of forgot. AJ has yeah, joined no, us this is... and says, starting a new run. Yes, we're taking over the Minnesota Wild, trying to turn them into something relevant. Eventually. Well, it's tough right now. Okay, the Ducks actually accepted our trade offer of a fourth round pick to drop two more contracts. So done. So we have now cleared space to grab... A few guys on, whoops. We have uh, eight spots open we could possibly grab guys on. 
Jeez, we got a lot of goalies under contract. A couple of decent prospects, at least. Yeah, but if we end up trading Dubnik, we'll... Uh, we'll... Could probably dump the rights to Gustafs and we're never going to use him again. Something relevant. Well, this is, uh, you know, what they actually need to do. Let's be honest. Oh, G Gerald Mayhew had a great game. He had six points the day we traded him. <laughs> or the night before we traded him. Perfect time to wow. get... All right. Perfect time for us to actually move him then. Game versus San Jose... Oops, I need to get somebody else out of the lineup. They're down to 29%. Looks like I need to call another forward up. So let's call up Sturm. And all right. Game versus San Jose. And Dubnik gets a little bit hot. We lose 3 nothing, but he makes 46 saves, so he gets a little warm. Yeah, he's going to get some work this year. Yep. AJS, uh, may I see the draft class rankings, please? I suppose we could probably do that. But I don't remember how to do it. Jeff, you're going to have to help me. Oh, you know, okay, sorry. One of the things you may have noticed if you've been playing FHM 6 is uh, there's some new <clears throat> information, and this one makes me smile every time. Uh, Cody Eakin, who had uh, three goals and one assist, tells reporters after the game, I hope I did not give the goalie sunburn on the back of his neck from the lake going on so much. That makes me chuckle every time myself oh you're the one who wrote it so i don't know what you're talking about uh no not at all uh we won't have you can these but uh, going back to the draft list uh, the place you can best place to look at that is go to the league screen so nhl yep. and then scouting and that'll we haven't had a watch list the uh, central scouting hasn't started updating their uh, list for the upcoming draft yet but you can see the uh, future preseason list just lists everybody, and you can sort by potential to get a very rough idea of how they're going to be ranking him. So we see Lafreniere, and then Byfield as one, two. Yeah, Lafreniere and Byfield, and probably Lucas Raymond, right? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that name uh, wrong for forever, probably. Ah. So it'd be nice if we get a lottery pick this year and grab one of those guys, but. Maybe don't count on it. Fingers crossed we're going to do as much as we can. Should we try and drop any other contracts? Should we try and drop another one? Uh, talking about that goal no, I, don't, I, I don't think we're going to need them yet. Uh, we'll see what's available when uh, teams start to releasing the tryout guys and putting people on waivers. We really could use some depth at uh, defensemen and... Maybe, uh, maybe Holy cow, we finally won a game. We beat Dallas. Tuke asked, did you see the buff news today? I did see that, Tuke, yes. Oh, what? I didn't see it. What happened? Uh, he had surgery on his ankle, apparently, to fix some uh, a high ankle sprain that was caused late last year. You know, if he's getting that done, I mean, he's going to be on the shelf for a while, but does that mean he wants to come back? Well, that's kind of what I wondered, but I, I don't really want to go one way or another on that. Okay, we got somebody down to 53%, 62%. Okay, Kunin. If Sturm can be replaced by Beckman... And we'll take Kunin out and put Coven off in. Oh, Donato's down to 62. He's going to survive for this game. Stalock's going in. 
versus Florida, and he picks up the win, 2-1. All right. Yeah. Careful, we don't want to win too much here. It's the preseason. It's not going to affect us too much. And you can see we're just about a month behind the real schedule. Hi, Northern Sky. Welcome to the stream. So, okay, there's a bunch of players we have who are going to be on waivers. Including... Probably none of which we really care about losing. No. JT Brown might end up back on this team, but that's about it. He'd probably be my 13th or 14th forward if we need that. And on Sunday... Okay, call out our waves. Vladislav Kaminev. Is that how you say that name? I'm not sure. Kaminev. Kaminev. All right. He is the top rated guy. Oh, taking a look here. We can see, okay, John Quinville got waived. Plays either wing. Okay, I'm going to make a radical suggestion. Joe Quinville is unfit, but I think we should probably bring him in. Thoughts? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about John Quinville, not Joel Quinville. I said John, yes. You said Joel. No, no. Uh, I don't think it's worth doing, though, because he's only one and a half stars right now. Isn't he? I have two stars, Probably two and a half potential. See, I'm getting one and a half at the start of the season, so I wouldn't really trust that, too. Okay, should we take the, the Vladimir Kamenev from Colorado? That might be a better move. Or Vladislav. If I got him. He's kind of bounced around a little. Uh, let's see. Decent size. Fairly. Can we make it a little more? Yeah. Play left. Can play both wings a little bit. Yeah, it seems versatile enough that we can probably got a spot for him. Okay, he's claimed. How about Josh Hosang? Uh, you really want all that uh, potential trouble? <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, for a defenseman, how about Gustav Forling? Forsling? Yeah. Let's see now. He's down to one and a half from what I can see. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, nah, probably not worth it. Hating on everybody, huh? All right. Okay. Kind of a week. And the other thing you remember to look at is check the free agent list uh, in a day or so because you're going to have a bunch of guys dropping uh, onto that who didn't get didn't get contracts. Oh, yeah, I'm not just... sure. There's a ton of uh, decent ones available. Best defenseman Could who's... Could be. 
highest potential is bring Thomas uh, Vanek back for another shot. Is Joe Hicketts. Uh, uh, it might not be a bad idea. Back moving defenseman. I know his his ratings are okay. Uh, there's only one and a half stars here. I think that might be worth a shot. It's one of those guys that the wings keep down forever and slowly develop, so maybe it's a good time to grab him just as he's getting ready to... Uh, if you want another out. bigger Canadian, it be Andrew Nielsen, 22. One and a half stars, two and a half potential. Six foot four, playing for Calgary. Stockton. I think I'd go with uh, Hicketts first. Well, I did, but should we grab him too? I mean, oh, I did. Grab two defensemen. Yeah, as well, I mean, the bottom end of our defensemen is pretty going to be. We could try out a lot of different guys there this year. All right, let's grab him, anyways. And. Uh, I think that's it. I think we make the claims on those three guys. Okay. And check uh, free agents in a couple of days, see if there's anything at all useful out there. But Oh, well, one contract you probably want to take care of this year, Luke Coonan is uh, expiring. Trade him Jordan away. Jordan Greenway, too. He's okay. probably worth resigning. No, I mean... Uh, they can trade him away. Extend him. Trade. Owen Cocken and our best goalie prospect, too. Trade them all the way. Okay. Sure. We said we were going to blow this team up. And I meant we're going to blow this team up. Um, AJ had a question in the chat I just saw. Would you consider Demko and Premier to have potential elite or high starters? potential at this moment. Demko has 13 to 14 games under his belt with only three games over three goals against. Yeah, it's starting to look that way. Well, it's still a pretty small uh, sample size, but he's going to have to push Marks to route first. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, we got Joel Hicketts. We got Andrew Nielsen, and we got Vladislav Kamenev. Shockingly, we weren't named as a Stanley Cup favorite. Go figure. I know you're shocked, so am I. And Nielsen can have number 66. Okay, just taking a quick look at Free Agent Center. Uh, is this? What are you looking for? Oh, there's a Max Patterson, who's apparently a decent player, who's just sitting there as a free agent. Who's 19, he's got three-star potential, although he, we're rated E on him. Yeah, unsigned, uh, didn't get drafted. Could be worth throwing a contract to, decent size. Yeah, might as well. Or you could just keep an eye on him and... Uh, well, if he's not take signed to be anywhere, might as well get him somewhere. Um, so he's signed, oops. Let's uh, send him down to the ECHL, though, I'm guessing. Oh, I'm done. Oh, yeah, he's got a late birthday. He's, in, he's a WHL uh, overager, so yeah. I guess they didn't want to. All right. Uh, free agent center again. Honk is still there. Brian Boyle's there. Nobody else is really jumping off the page. Uh, 
Jason Pomavale we could bring back. But, uh, oh, we could bring in Dion Phaneuf. That's probably who you want, right? wonder what he wants. Markov. Do you want me to seriously make him an offer? Okay, offer contract. He wants just over $1 million for one year. No, that's surprisingly reasonable if you want to grab him. Not really, no. We have to get two guys. Anybody down. younger that... Uh... Who we could send down? I'm just wondering, okay. Nick Sealer, can we shop him and find somebody to take him? Three offers. Oh, no offers for Nick Sealer. Whoops. Disappointing. Carson Soucy is currently playing. He's only one star and he's 25. Shop him and nobody wants him. Not that surprising at uh, one star. Yep. All right, so let's take a look here. And all right. Hicketts is coming in the lineup. Let's send Susie down because we don't really need him. One stars, yeah. he's not doing us any good. All right, so we got one. You somehow get the next half star in the minors, uh, maybe give him another look, but other than that, nah. Yeah, Nick Sealer we're going to send down too because we don't need him. If he gets picking up, that's another year contract gone. Okay, so who's coming out of the lineup? We have one, two, three, six, seven defensemen under. So let's take... Okay, we're going to take Hicketts out for now. So that leaves us with backups of Hick Hicketts is Hicketts is seven defensemen and Greg Pattern is number eight on forwards. Kamenev is in and Kunin is in. And that leaves us with an extra forward in Nico Sturm. Uh, we've got, oh, no, Eric's neck is there. Yeah. Have we got somebody to play fourth line center? Oh, who's in there now? Donato? F Felino no. is in there now. Uh, now it's center. Giuseppe is in there. Okay, we'll see if he can learn to play there. Um, Zach Parise has actually moved all the way up to first line <laughs> with Kunin and Zuccarello, Donato, Eriksson, Ek, Fiala, guys. Greenway, Kamenev, Simmons, Felino, huh. Giuseppe, Zucker. How did Kaprizov do in uh, his games? Uh, can I pull up the stats? Yep. Uh, open up his player screen. All right, give me one second. I'm just rebalancing some minutes. Yeah, go ahead. I want to go to depth chart. I want to look at Kill Kaprizov. Okay. And then I want to go to what? Game by game? Uh, yeah, that's probably the best place to look. And you'll have a bunch from the KHL because they start the season super early. Well, he only played in one game for us because he was so tired. And he was right. minus two, had 14 minutes, played three minutes of power play time, 2.30 of shorthanded time, 20 shifts. Not terrible. I mean, no, didn't have minus two, but uh, the game ratings weren't bad. No. Nope. So we'll see um, when's his contract run out. Uh, when's his contract out at the end of this year, so we should be able to grab him and... Remember to take him on July 1st and get him over from the KHL. Oh, we got to offer a goalie. 
going to offer him a three-year deal with a Offered him 95000 to be in the minors. He seemed okay with that. And we'll go f forward with the rest. Can't go wrong with a three-year ELC on minimum wage. You know what? It made... Uh, most amount of sense, I think, to make that offer to that guy. Plus, it gives us another prospect if he turns out. Yep. Play in the ECHL or fourth line in the AHL for a little while. Uh, what was that? Sorry, what was his name again? I'm just trying to remember where we find him on our depth chart. Um, it was Patterson. Oh, he's buried on the wingers, on the right wing right now, but... Still saying he is a three-star guy, so. Yeah, see what happens when we get him into a few games in the minors. Long-term output be the skill level of Miko Koivu. All right. Are you, uh, what are you doing for training and scouting? You're going I to? I set that. that. I'm going to leave training for the AI. Uh, we got some time to do some yeah. scouting right now, I guess. Could be a good way to wrap it up as we get to our first game here. And we'll probably have to hire some guys. Yeah, I mean, they've got about 20 scouts now, but uh, that's well that's short of the seven year eight I usually employ. My goodness. Now, one of the things you need to remember is if you're going to set scouts to permanent scouting, you need to uh, make sure you don't have the assistant on because it'll override that so if we look at our scouting well actually you know before we even do that let's go to staff let's be honest gonna go to free agents we're gonna filter down just to see scouts and then we want to look at the scouting tab Um, guy who can evaluate good in Quebec. Sounds good to me. Let's hire him as a scout. Perfect. Carter Sears is good in the WHL draft reason. region. Done. Western U.S. Bill Horton. Hire as a scout. Absolutely. Probably want to grab a couple of European guys, too. Tommy Alburn, Northern Europe. Uh, USA and all of Canada. Perfect. Scout. Peter Forsberg is uh, available. I'm going to grab Jimmy Blixt. Peter Forsberg. I wonder how far down he is. I'm sorting by top potential here, so that's probably not going to help me find him. I should switch to names. That would make it easier, yeah. But I'm just looking to see if anyone's popping off this list who I'm like, we should have this guy. All right. Available staff. Okay, fine. We'll grab Daniel Alfredson, too, for that matter. And Forsberg. C. D. E. Peter Forsberg. All right. Uh, search by region here for a second, and we'll just look by Northern Europe, or maybe we should have, uh, 
is it mid Europe or what's that one area called? Central Europe. Central Europe. Thank you. I knew mid Europe did not sound right. All right. Uh, we're actually going to hire Rob Pulford out of for Central U.S. Central Europe isn't looking great, but we'll grab uh, Frank Collar. All right, that's probably enough for now. So if we click the scouting tab, um, let's look at current jobs. Let's start off very simple. Guy Lapointe is watching the National Hockey League. We're just going to change that to a permanent thing. Yeah. Um, we're going to grab this WHL Carter Sears guy, and we're going to put him on the league of the WHL. And scout for potential and scout for quantity. Do we want to look at uh, rights available? Or just let him scout for... Uh, which would, in what league? WHL. I would have him scout everybody, so you're going to be able to get some scouting on the other team's prospects. So too. just leave it a, as WHL? Then leave every, every option yeah. blank? Yeah. Okay. And... Okay, ship harders on Midwest. Let's put him on. Okay, apparently he doesn't like that much. So we'll put him on the NAHL, which is the feeder league for the USHL. And... Let's find this other Midwest guy. Apparently he has no league preference. It's disappointing. Let's just put him to the USHL anyways, son. Uh, Pavel Root is in Central Europe. We're just going to change that to permanent. You can report back every eight weeks. He's looking for just rights available, guys. Uh, Central Europe. Might as well put him on Central Europe as well. Excellent. Um, so we have one guy in the WHL, right? I believe I sent one guy to the WHL. Yeah, you did. I remember. Oh, there he is. So we're going to put uh, Craig as uh, looking for the ability of the WHL. Since we have one guy looking at potential. Oh, wait a second. I set him to just Western Canada. Actually, that wouldn't be the that would be fine. Just set him to Western Canada rather than the WHL. Yeah, he'll look at Junior A too that way. And all right, Andrew Brunette might as well set him to the OHL. So we want the OHL, not the OJHL. Different league. All right. Jamie Hislop, I think we're actually going to set him to the American Hockey League. And he's going to look for potential and quantity. All right. Don't uh, just make sure you've got rights available checked off for him. Otherwise, you're not going to be looking at very many players, just the uh, guys that are signed directly to the AHL teams. Well, what if 
make sure we don't have that. Are, if that's who you want us to. Oh. Well, otherwise, you're not going to get. He's not going to scout any of the NHL uh, prospects. Okay, where did he go? I'm just suddenly have com completely lost him. Ontario oh, American Hockey League. So sorry, I need to do what? I need to set him to rights available, or not rights? Available? No, you need to have that off. If okay, not rights I, available because okay. otherwise okay. he's yeah. Man, you got me. Um. Okay, Paul Charles just wants to look in Western Canada. He can still do that. There's lots of hockey players out there. Nordic Europe guy can stay in Nordic Europe. We're going to take off rights available. He can just look for everybody. And all right, let's see here. Quebec guy who does not have a Quebec assignment. So let's get him on the QMJHL. All right. Central U.S. He's going to scout the ECHL for us. Done. Europe at large can just maintain that. Switching to eight weeks, because it doesn't really matter when we get the reports. We just don't want a lot of emails. Uh, Brian Fortin is just looking in, okay, Western Canada. Actually, we don't have anybody in the USA, or no, sorry, we don't have anybody in uh, the NCAA. Yeah, I should probably assign at least one guy there. Uh, you know, we're going to put him. Okay, so we want one guy. How about Marty Nan? Upper Midwest. That should be NCAA region. NCAA Division One. Uh, use draft eligibility and rights available? No, probably don't want either one of those. Check mark, do we? No, I might as well have a look at everybody. All right. And okay, so I just got to think about this for a second. ECHL, USHL, NCAA, Ontario has one scout. Probably, you know, we're going to put um, two guys in the AHL because we need, we should be scouting lots of the American Hockey League. Okay, so we only have a handful of guys left. Okay, current job. Question one in Ontario. Here's another guy. Let's get him assigned to the OHL then as well. But apparently it's not his league. Well, too bad. You're going to learn to love it. Uh, this guy can probably go to the NCAA as well, assuming he's from New York. No, can't do NCAA. No, but he can do QMJHL. Works for me. All right. 
another guy from Northern Europe. Done. You know what? This guy can uh, actually scout the N NHL as well. It's good to get information on guys we may try and trade for. Yep. Nordic Europe again. Most of the time I choose a scout, a scout for quantity so we get as many guys checked on in as we can over quality. Um, just looking here. Upper Midwest. I don't think he's going to have anything to... The Federal Prospects Hockey League. That's uh, pretty low. Let's put him on NCAA Division 1, though. And he can look for ability. Okay, we're down to five scouts left. This guy has a job of... You know, we're going to put him on Atlantic Canada. Because we don't really have anybody in the Atlantic provinces. Check it out. Uh, Sweden. Oh, no! What? Oh, no, I'm okay. I thought I accidentally fired a scout. <laughs> but I think I just cleared his job by accident. It's okay. We're good. Um, going to put him in a little bit of an awkward spot, but we need some more scouts in Europe. It looks like okay, and last scout. Where should we put him? And... This guy can basically go to anything important. Oh, man. You know, let's throw him in the USHL, too. We'll have an extra scout in the USHL. It's a big league. Okay, so just like that, we have now permanently signed all of our scouts to be all over the place. Um, if we look at our current jobs, you can see we have a handful of guys in Nordic Europe, two guys in the Q, two guys in the O, one guy in the NAHL, USHL, WHL, just Western Canada. Um, Western U.S., Western and South Europe, Central Europe, Atlantic, American. We have one noticeable absence, though, so we actually need to go hire two more guys. Jeff, what region are we missing? Um, do you have anybody in Russia? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We don't really have anybody for Russia. So we're going to go back to free agents. We're going to filter again. Just take off everybody but scouts. That's not what I want to do. I want to go to scouting. And I want to check my regions. So I want to find somebody in the former USSR maybe. How about former Czechoslovakia? Probably better to get uh, Russian. Straight up Russian? All right. Why did I not go by nationalities? That would have been helpful, too. Um... OK, 
Okay, let's go by nationalities here because I'm not finding what I need. United States, United States, United States, United States. You could just filter nationality to Russia? Uh, filter nationality. Jeff, you're so smart with all these things. And let's look at Russians. Okay. Not a lot of great scouts left by the looks of it. Okay, how about Dennis Nezimov? So we'll grab him. And we'll grab Andre Podr something. I don't know how you say his name. And Andre Podrzok. Sure. Sir. And that should be good with our scouting. We'll just go back here real quick. He wants former USSR. Perfect. And last guy. And we'll put him on former USSR as well. And just like that, we're done. Uh, just because we can. See a few more guys on waivers. Mark Stahl's on waivers. Brandon Smith's on waivers. Victor Rask is on waivers. Robert Haig is on waivers. Overall, I feel kind of decent about our team for the most part. We'll see yeah, what happens. Off to a decent start. Yeah. And just play this game versus Nashville. Season opener. Simmed out and we lose. 4-2. Seems about right. Probably going to have a lot of those this year. I would imagine. Uh, Zen Archer 73 says, could you spare scouts to double check anyone you put on your short list? You could. I typically don't. Personal preference. I like to cover more, uh, as many guys as I can, rather than focus on individuals. My preference, anyways. So with that, we've been kind of streaming here for well over the hour now as we've got our new game set up. So with that, uh, thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager 6 stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash OTP developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OTP developments. You can also reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash franchise hockey manager on Twitter. We are at Franchise Hockey. We can also find a link to our Discord channel. Or you can also come on down to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right-hand corner, which will bring you to our official forums. We can come talk about Franchise Hockey Manager, Out of the Park Baseball, Perfect Team, or anything else you want to. Game two of the year, and we win. Dube nicks up to two heats. We win 4-2 over Colorado. Jeff, did I miss anything? Uh, only other thing, uh, like I said, we we said earlier, we're testing the uh, next update right now, and so going fairly well so far. A couple of little things I think I want to get fixed before we put it out, but expect to see that uh, sometime in the next few days. Absolutely. All right. So thank you very much, and we will see you all again very soon.